My guide was Doris Berger, senior curator at the Academy Museum of Motion Pictures. So it makes sense that you know, when, the, when exiles came over to Hollywood that they would work in the same style. Yeah, and they all came from Germany, or many, many came from Germany, Berlin, where German expressionism was en vogue, so to speak. Uh, it was really happening, the great movies made that had a distinct style, really sharp edges, great cinematography in terms of light and shadow, movies like uh, M or Ka Dr. Caligari or Nosferatu are key pieces of German Expressionist filmmaking and many of the emigres and directors who worked in Germany had to flee Germany from 1933 onward because yeah. that's when the Nazis came to power in Germany and I mean granted so many years before World War II exiles and emigres lost their jobs immediately so from that point on they had to leave and find other jobs in other places, yeah. often in different places in Europe and hope finally in the United States. And it makes sense that when they arrived here, then they would be sort of working in the same style that they've worked in in Europe. Totally, they brought yeah. their styles with them. Film noir, the term, was coined much later. That didn't exist in the 1940s. Uh -huh. It was coined in the 1950s by a French critic, actually. It was specific to what happened here in film noir, which was the style from German Expressionism, but also the writing of Americans in urban environments. Yeah. The prettiness. And yeah, I mean, there's probably no better example of that than you know, Double Indemnity, where you have Raymond Chandler, this master of gritty urban American stories, collaborating with Billy Wilder. It's interesting because normally he would work with Charles Brackett on his scripts, but yeah. he wanted to work with James Kane, who wrote the novel, but he wasn't available. So <laughs> they reached out to uh, <laughs> Raymond Chandler, which is a great idea. <laughs> yeah. However, I think the two men did not gel too well, mm. apparently. Mm. It was not an easy screenwriting process, so I read. Two very successful creative people, and they clashed. You know. They clashed a little bit, and also, we must say, Billy Wilder worked in screenwriting before he became a director, so he was yeah. an experienced screenwriter. But Raymond Chandler was a novelist for urban detective stories, right? <laughs> right? So it's not the same as writing a script. So that was the first script he was involved in. So that was an interesting match, I would say. 